next guest has had a more exciting past few months than most of us. She married her Love Island co-star Ian Sterling and also they announced they, that they are both expecting their first child. Well, today, presenter Laura Whitmore releases her debut book, No One Can Change Your Life Except For You. And she joins me now and it is lovely to see. Look at you, you look so gorgeous. I mean, when, when I'm at home, it is, and especially you're in the late <laughs> stage of pregnancy, I look like a blinking Easter egg and look at you. <laughs> Yeah, you, on... you don't want to see the waist down, Lorraine. You don't want to see the waist down, I'm telling you. Now, look, this book has come from personal experience. It's lessons that you've learned along the way, isn't it? And also advice that you want to pass on to your baby girl. Yeah, um, well, to my baby. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't necessarily written when I knew I was pregnant, so it's not about pregnancy, I'll tell you that now. But um, it's uh, there's lots of things in there that I've picked up over the years and um, things about consent, being a, a woman in a male dominated industry, as I'm sure you're well aware. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's been an interesting roller coaster over the last 13 years working in telly. And um, I've always been quite protective over the personal side of my life and, uh, and still am to a certain degree, but I think it's really important sometimes to share stories. I think it's in sharing stories and communicating and through writing for me has been really important in, in talking about issues that I feel need to be addressed. No, absolutely. And the thing is, from the outside looking in, everybody will think that your life is perfect, that you've had, you know, that sort of like little woodland creatures do your washing up. You know, it's like Snow White, it's all gorgeous. <laughs> you know what I mean? And of course, it's not like that because we're all just getting on with our lives, aren't we, and doing that. And it's, it's a really good thing. I think it will really help other young women, no matter what job they're in, to realise that, you know, what you've got to do is you've just got to keep picking yourself up all the time. You know, that comes across as a real optimism in the book, Laura. Yeah, I was saying um, I'm quite an optimistic person and um, I think that's annoying for some people sometimes <laughs> to be that optimistic. But yeah, there's lots of things in there that that I talk about. Um, and, and I know I've been on your show before talking about things like upskirting and and that bill that came in. And, and sometimes I feel like, who am I to kind of give any advice whatsoever? All I can do is talk about things that I've dealt with mm -hmm. and, and hope that they resonate with people. Um, and I really found in the last few years having a voice and using your voice and I have a great platform I get to do brilliant things on telly and I have a very fun job but it's also important to kind of talk about the struggles as well because as you say um life isn't always as it seems sometimes no of course no and you've been through tough times you know you've been through a miscarriage you've been through we've all had you know things in our careers that haven't gone particularly well I always think though you sort of learn by those hurdles, overcoming those hurdles, actually, you always can take something away that you, you can say, OK, that was terrible, but I got through it, which is important. Yeah, I think for any success, you have to fail a lot. Yes. And um, and I talk a lot about in the book uh, imposter syndrome. And this is something I've dealt with for years, you know, even going to places or, you know, being in studio or meeting people like you, I kind of feel like, why am I here? Or how did I get here? Or someone's going to come in and tell me to leave. And I think a lot of people seem to get that in no matter what job they're in. Yes. And over the years when I've interviewed different people and huge stars, like huge stars, and they would also have this imposter syndrome. I'm like, oh, we're all we're all human. We all have our insecurities. <laughs> no, and right. there is something kind of nice in knowing that we kind of are all flawed that way. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100%. I still have got that thing that if I go somewhere posh, they're going to sort of tap me on the shoulder and say, I'm terribly sorry, you're working class and you're not allowed in. <laughs> or shops, you know <laughs> those like posh shops? Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know the ones where you have to kind of like knock and then they let you in to posh shops in the days when we could shop. I can't go in there. I honestly can't go in there. I feel I feel inadequate. Isn't that nuts? The pretty woman moment. Do you know the pretty woman moment? Yes, when you kind of yes, walk yes exactly, the exactly, yeah. exactly. Now look, Congratulations, got married, very quiet, kept it very quiet. Obviously, sadly, I was not there to officiate because we're not allowed. And we but were devastated as well. Was that a lovely day though, did you? I mean, you look, the pictures are gorgeous. Oh, look, you've even got your wee dog. You've even got little Mick there as well. Lovely. Yeah, we were very lucky that we managed to kind of have it to ourselves on the day. And then I think afterwards we were getting... Um, congratulations from people we hadn't told we got married so we, we put up that picture with the dog because let's be honest most people are interested in our dog than they are in to us well, so of course because we I mean I know that you know you're very heavily pregnant and the baby is imminent but you are already parents because I mean I don't know what age is Mick is he six now I think he's six he's six now yeah oh. everyone knows so much information about the dog more than anyone else um <laughs> 
Yeah, he is. And he, I mean, he's the first child in the house. And, and I think I think he will remind us about that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, of course. I mean, I always say to Rosie when she says, but you know, that we dote on Angus so much. And I say, no, 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 I treat both my children equally. equally. So as long as you do equally. that, then you're fine. Well, Mick, Mick came first, Mick came first, so there he is. Oh, he's <laughs> gorgeous. He's Look at him so on the rain. He's going to love life now. He's going to be a diva telling all the other dogs. <laughs> he's gorgeous. Now, look, tell me about Love Island. What's happening? Do you know? Or is it going to be on this summer? Do we know? Because all sorts of rumours flying around that it's going to be in Jersey or it's going to be here. Do we know anything? Well, it's it's not Love Island without the rumour mill churning, course, is it? And um, I, I think we all need a little bit of Love Island in our life this summer. But to be honest with you, I can't really say any more than that. And Lorraine, you've got more clout on ITV. You probably have more information than I do at the moment. I don't. Just you be in your baby bubble. And actually, what would be really nice if it does happen, you can all, when babies are tiny and you can take them with you. So it's it's fine. And both of you can look after yeah. the wee one. Do you know yeah, what? Yeah, we have. We have. Yeah. You're able to do that, which is great. Good luck with the book. It's called No One Can Change Your Life Except For You. you so much. Full Thank of you. some brilliant advice, Laura. Really, really good advice. Written from the heart, which is lovely. And uh, you Thank too, you. just enjoy your wee baby. I'm so thrilled for you because he's a lovely man and you're delightful and I hope it all goes really well. Just and enjoy. when we have a party, you, can come to the, you have to come to the party. Sing a song. I'm there and, I, and I'm there and I'll just sit in a corner with your baby and your little dog looking after them. Like, <laughs> like the crazy old auntie in the corner, just give me a few sherries, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my love. It's great to talk to you and good luck. Good luck Thanks, with the Ryan. book Thank on you. National Book Day, Thanks. of course. Right. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.